Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In the upcoming video, I will do a direct comparison between ALVR, Virtual Desktop, and the Oculus Link. As you might know or not, uh, ALVR and Virtual Desktop are two streaming platforms using a Wi-Fi connection that enables you to stream PC VR content directly to your Quest. And the Oculus Link, well, it's just been released since the 11th of, 11th of November, uh, this will allow the same thing by using a 3.0 USB cable connected to your link. Um, the game on display uh, is Pavlov VR. It's a popular game uh, on the Quest. It has a standalone version, but the, the, the PC VR version of Pavlov uh, is graphical-wise a lot nicer. So. Um, you will see that in the upcoming footage, I first make a comparison between ALVR and the Oculus Link. And in the second part of the video, I do the same thing for Virtual Desktop and the Link. So the Link software is the same, Virtual Desktop and ALVR will get their turns each. Um, sometimes you will notice that one frame is freezing. That's because I sometimes want to let the videos catch up because it was not that uh, easy to, to, to get the same footage. Uh, and uh, sometimes I do a complete freeze of both images at the same uh, point uh, in the timeline so that you can uh, compare image quality and uh, visual fidelity uh, of what you are uh, seeing uh, when using this or the other platform. Um, mind you, the footage is again directly taken from the Quest, so no, nothing has been recorded from uh, my desktop screen. It's all what you see is what you get in the Quest. So uh, I uh, suggest that we just uh, let the footage speak for itself and afterwards we can discuss it some more. Thanks. <laughs>
Yeah, so there you have it. Um, my first impression, virtual desktop, since uh, it released, uh, it's reached the 1.8 mark, it's getting very good indeed. Uh, I always preferred ALVR because of that. Uh, virtual desktop wasn't bad, but it had a lot of tracking issues, a lot of latency. And for Pavlov VR, I must say the, the image quality is spot on. Uh, I'm using the insane settings. But as you know, my, my computer is a, well, it's not a PC, it's not a gaming monster, it's a, just a GTX 1070 um, running uh, with a, a Coffee Lake uh, 8400 processor, so nothing fancy. And I must say, virtual desktop is performing extremely well. Uh, ALVR, I'm new, uh, because I've been playing Skyrim forever on ALVR and it has just gotten better and better and better. But I must say, virtual desktop, uh, yeah, very impressed indeed. Um, Tracking-wise, uh, the the Oculus Link wins. It's just like like a tethered headset. It's it's like a, you can compare it to the Rift S. It's that good. So it's it's immediate. It's it's and ALVR and virtual desktop. There's a little latency, but nothing that you can't. Uh, adjust to. Uh, I must say, virtual desktop. Well, in the instance of Pavlov VR, is even a little better in the tracking than AL VR, but by a hair, really a hair. Of course, uh, I'm not used to playing online against uh, other players uh, which use an index or uh, uh, other uh, HMDs. Uh, so I can't really compare if if the latency is is. Is that bad or not? Um, I know, I don't know, but for me, in the shooting range and uh, going through the, the, the course there, I must say the latency is, is, is good. It's, uh, I, I wasn't expecting that, so it's uh, very playable indeed. Um, but what can I say? Uh, very impressed. Um, ALVR, virtual desktop, definitely um, good solutions here. So the next game I will be covering uh, will be Red Matter. Um, I haven't played it yet and I've downloaded it today uh, on Steam VR. So I will make sure I do a comparison video uh, of uh, Red Matter, so on ARVR, Virtual Desktop and the Oculus Link, so that you can get a good idea of what to expect. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you guys uh, on the next one. Bye.